Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Just diving into VeChain then. Once again, thank you very much for all your really nice comments on the video I made yesterday, okay? Really do appreciate it. And, and for all the comments I'm getting across the board on all the videos, it's really nice. Those comments are, are so good, you know. We get the occasional troll, you know, and that's to be expected. You know, some people are a bit on Elfie in the head, so that's to be expected. So, um, yeah, just diving into Vet then. And uh, what you can see, basically, we, we did, like I said to you yesterday, you, you're going to hit your head. On this if you refer to yesterday's video I said you're gonna push up and you potentially gonna hit your head on this level here and get rejected and come back down and look for that retest off this 20 EMA and lo and behold it's happened okay I've not got a crystal ball I don't see into the future but you know you, you, the charts do not lie there's a saying show me the charts and I'll tell you the news and the, the news is that, that V chain is super super bullish it's in a continuation trend the EMAs look extremely healthy okay we've had that little repel there I always look for that in an uptrend when you come back together a level of consolidation a retest of the fuel rocket ships here a refueling of the rocket ships here and that's exactly what we've got we've got that repel on the four hourly time frame of the EMAs and that's a beautiful thing to see that okay because that there it just it's a lovely thing to see okay in an uptrend okay and if you was targeting a downtrend you know you're short you're going short you want to see it coming and retesting as well as soon as that starts making bearish crosses where the yellow line crosses the red line you don't want to see that okay because then you're looking at more downturn and it just takes longer to reverse and sort itself out and come back but at the moment we've got that repel and it's looking really healthy for Eugene. i did say you go up hit your head come back down potentially you know you're going to get that retest and look bang straight on the yellow line guys okay i'm going to stop saying guys i'm gotta stop saying guys it's annoying me and it's annoying other people but it annoys me more than it annoys you trust me so <laughs> sorry um so yeah we've got that retest off the ema you know and i did say to you you know that you potentially this is a fantastic entry opportunity i'm not a financial advisor i don't tell you what to do but this would have been a really good entry if you wasn't involved in VeChain because VeChain looks really, really good. looks really bullish. So what we've got now, okay, you can see that what we're doing, we've retraced really well, which is another positive thing about this entire move because you've got the top out there, okay? Let's stretch this out a little bit so you can see. you got the top, you got the bottom, you retrace in. You've smashed through these levels. You hardly any resistance at all, which shows that the trend is absolutely rocking, okay, for VeChain. It shows that the power in the uptrend is rocking. Okay, so you've just absolutely smashed through them. You look at other charts, okay, and, and you'll see the retracements. When you go through them, you, you hover around for days, you know, or, or multiple candles. These are just smashed through them, and you've absolutely smashed through the 0618 there. Okay, you went up, you hit a, a level of resistance, and you come back. But then you, you've not even hovered around the 0618, okay? You've just gone straight back up. So now, okay, you, you're looking at a level of resistance on the 0786, and you are looking to get through this. But you know what? It looks really strong. It does look good. Okay, there's a lot of power in VeChain. You may, you may potentially see, you know, another couple of levels like this where this EMA starts to come up and forces it. Okay, because it wants to keep retesting the EMA and forces out of, of this resistance line here. So you may see that. You may see a little bit of a while before you actually get out of this resistance and march onto that level there. And you do know what a level is because we put drop that in the channel for you. That's your target. Okay, that's your target up there. And like I said to you, it's not going to. Well, it could do because of how strong V chain is. But it, it, you know, it's not going to go like that. But you, what you're looking to do is get out of here first. Basically tidy that up you're basically looking you're basically looking to get out of here first okay you get out of there this resistance at zero nine uh zero nine four nine five three get out of that okay that resistance back test it support get the close as well you know the close when it, the, it closes so the body of the candle is closed above like an example is here it was struggling to get through this 20 ma which is the yellow line yeah and then it actually got through it and closed above it and you've got that secondary close there with the wicks at the bottom that's what you want to see for v chain where it gets up it closes above okay because then that's just going to propel it and you will be looking at taking out that high there and then marching on and, and, and getting to that target up there for V chain. So at the moment it looks good, but you know, you've always got to target the fallbacks. So sometimes a, a chart looks amazing and then it breaks down and you know that Bitcoin can be a, a cause of that as well. So it is effectively on Bitcoin and you do have those lower targets that we've set for you there in the channels. But if it was to break down, I would, uh, you know, look, look at these targets here on the Fibonacci as retracements as, as levels of support because it's very, very strong. Wrong. okay you may see us fall back in it the, the 20 ma there you may get a couple of more tests of this ema actually creeping forward before it actually breaks out of that okay and and then you know if it was to fall through the ma target the 20 at uh, the 55 ema which is a red line for a test of support as well you know and that it may come to that but the, the, the trend is so strong i'm not going to lie to you 
I'm not going to lie to you. Um, if we zoom out on the, on the daily time frame here, okay, look at the daily time frame. It's so strong. Um, you've gone up here. You've 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 bounced off to 55 there. You've gone up. You bounced off to 20. You fell through, okay, in that correction there, and you fell through, and you've you've actually back to the 55 here. All you've done is gone up at that minor correction here, and you bounced off the the, the 20, okay, and you're getting bought back up. It's brilliant. It's it's really good. It's really strong. It shows that the trend is really strong okay for, for fee chain it's looking really healthy at the moment but again obviously you know if, if you was to get those four backs and, and breakdowns you you do have our targets in the channel there okay and if it was to break down and, and retest these levels and these supports you know it's still healthy because look it's done it there so you're in a massive uptrend for VChain and anyone involved that got involved from the, from the get-go really early on, congratulations. So that's basically VChain. Just a quick little update for you today. Um, do keep an eye on those levels that we've got, that level there. Hopefully see that breakout and, and push on and march on to those highs. Okay, hope you enjoyed that video. Do subscribe to the channel. Do uh, smash the like button and do get involved in the community there. I'll be back soon with another VChain update. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.